The terrorist attacks of September 11, 2001 are something no one will ever forget. For some Great Falls firefighters who were working in Great Falls that day, that is certainly true in more ways than one. I was working that day actually at fire station number four. As we came into work and realized what was going on. It was all over the news. It was almost unbelievable for us. I mean, we looked at it and um, two out of the three of us that were on duty that day at that station were also Air National Guard members as well. So not only did it have ramifications in the fire service, but it did for the military as well, because they scrambled jets to you know, intercept some of the planes that were still in the air. Great Falls Fire Rescue Assistant Chief Bob Shoup says 9-11 was a sobering realization for many in the fire service industry. That um, there is a, a chance of a, the ultimate sacrifice that has to be paid. I was just getting off uh, night shift that morning uh, when the first plane hit. For Deputy Fire Marshal Tom Zarimsky, the day is a reminder of the bravery and dedication firefighters have. You just look back on what the job the firefighters in New York had ahead of them and you knew it was going to be tough and there was going to be some tragedy, but you just assumed they were going to get the job done. In this video from CBS News, as people run for their lives as one of the towers collapses, a firefighter can be seen walking towards the plume of smoke and debris. It's just one of those things what firefighters do. They go to work, they get the job done. Battalion Chief B.J. Perry was in the process of becoming a firefighter with Great Falls Fire Rescue when the terrorist attacks happened. He had been hoping to go to the 9-11 Memorial in New York City this year for the 20th anniversary. With COVID, obviously, it's just <laughs> created issues. He says firefighters will never forget the firefighters lost that day. There isn't uh, a lot of time that goes by that we don't think about that. As firefighters, um, we have annual, um, you know, we memorialize all those guys each year. We have uh, memorabilia in our homes, books. Uh, I have the names of all the firefighters on a poster in, in, uh, in our basement. The constant remembrance of lives lost is not the only impact the terrorist attacks have had on the fire industry, however. They also changed the way the industry operates. Training has taken place all over the nation that had to do, you know, with, with terrorist attacks and uh, weapons of mass destruction on a terrorism type of a level. And also fire prevention bureaus around the country started changing a few things with the way uh, buildings were constructed, fire suppression systems, you know, elevators go to certain floors. An industry forever changed by a day that forever changed the nation. The people who knock these buildings down will hear all of us soon. The fire department will hold its annual September 11th ceremony at Elks Riverside Park in Great Falls at 7 o'clock on Saturday morning. In Great Falls, Coulter and Staff, MTN News.